piss Mackie. I'm waiting for Ken to fucking piss. He's like fucking piss right now. Oh, he's here, he's here. How was your pooping? Fuck off. So. Hello. Okay. We are going to um, it, um <laughs> Daikanyama. We're going vintage shopping. And then Daikanyama. Oh yeah. And then what are we doing after? We're gonna, we're gonna react our old, old fits. fits. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So if you're looking for jeans and some affordable t-shirts, uh, you want to go check out Beauty and Youth by Aoyama. What have you been up to, Mackie? Nothing? Nothing. Cool. Exercising. Uh -huh. yep. Gotta have some more energy, Mackie. You look really tired, bro. I'm so exhausted. From what? From this area we have, I guess, the more expensive portion of the vintage teas. I think there's a Grateful Dead tea. A lot of, like, college merch. I don't know what the fat is, but I've previously shown this in my other video. Japanese people, they're just super into, like, college football merch for some reason. Oh, shit. And I'm not a really big fan of that. It's just a hit or miss in Beauty and Youth because all the good things, they just disappear during the fall and winter season and since it's summer all the good things are kind of it just ran out the door people are just buying and just like hoarding t-shirts that they stock every once in a while but if you guys are lucky you might find cool pieces oh that's actually not bad i didn't see this before sick but yeah oh public enemy see you just find things like this I just wouldn't wear this because it's, I don't know. And then on this side, we've got like more school merch, I guess. Calvin Klein, UBC, Ohio State. And then here we have Ben Davis merch, Champion. I don't know what it is, but I think it's a culture here in Japan where they just collect a lot of American football. It fetishizes American culture so much, but I think it's st still cool that they exchange inspiration and everything. And then over here, we've got a bunch of denim that you guys might want to check out. Some of the- oh, it's so expensive bro, it's six bills for vintage Levi's. What is it? It's literally just a pair of normal denim. The cut is fire, but don't know, don't know. I think it's only because in the early 60s to early 70s, vibes and then, what else is there? Nothing really much. Right? Over here, we've got other cool outerwear jackets, perfecto, denim trucker jacket, prison jumper, coats, denim jackets, denim. I like how it flares out. It's a little piece sick. 32. It's more cool. Jackets, sweats, souvenir jackets, souvenir jackets, coach jackets, denim jackets, Stussy, Nike, sportswear. Yeah, so unfortunately we couldn't find anything, but it's definitely worth checking out because I mean, I have OCD, and a lot of these things are very well organized. If you guys are not into really digging through and sporting your way to find the right piece, H Beauty is definitely worth a visit. What do you think of this place, Mackie? I'm so sleepy, right? Bro, you need some coffee, man. It's like, this place is like kind of like a good place to sleep for me. <laughs> Let's go. 
Yeah. How are you feeling? Okay. Sorry if Mackie is really boring today, because usually he has a lot of energy. For some reason today he's not feeling it. We should like flim like yesterday instead. <laughs> what? We're at David Auto by the way, the best juice shop in what Japan. Is it? Oh dude, it's this, this one. What do you mean? No, you, you have to get the banana mana and what? then you mix it. Oh really? Yeah. So you should get this uh -huh. and then get banana mana with almond. Just trust oh. me, trust me. Okay, okay. Trust me. Okay. Yeah. Um, since Mackie's out of energy, he and gotta get the juice. Like, how long like how many days until you expire? Ah, uh, eto, Kyoto, Asta, Ichi, Ichi. Ichi, Ichi, yeah. How about if we put in the refrigerator? refrigerator? No, it's still one day, right? Yeah. Still one day. Sick. You're already feeling energetic, man. Looking forward to it. <laughs> How is it, bro? Honestly, it's the best, right? It's the best. Come on. My eyelid. <laughs> How long did it take? Like one hour. What did you do? You uh, use exacto knife, scissors, and um, some magic. That's it. Yep. And some swag. And a vision. And Frank Ocean. <laughs> And blood. So now that Mackie's a little bit more energized, right? Continue with vintage shopping. So this next spot I've never actually really been before, but I've heard good things about it. I think it's called the Hangout or Hangover or whatever, but they have very low-key pieces. It's kind of tucked away in the streets of Harajuku, so we're actually just approaching right now. So uh, let's check it out, bro. Oh, it's called the Hangout. Hangout. Sick. Vintage polo, flannels, jackets. Yeah. Polos and some vintage teas. One thing that's really bad about vintage shopping is that you have to spare the whole day to really be able to fully maximize your time to look for the right pieces. Uh, oh shit. Wow, that's sick. I might need to cop this. Bro, look at that helmet lane kind of vibe. Yep, I'm definitely trying this on. I'm gonna try this on. I'll show you guys how it fits. How much is this? Hundred bucks? Hundred forty dollars? I'll take it. What is your size? 33. Huh? But like vintage Levi's, vintage Levi's, um, you have to size one up because if you go true to size, it fits really tight. Oh. Now we're going to a place called Bud's, probably one of my favorite vintage shops in Japan actually. They have a lot of good vintage tees, hoodies, sweaters, denim. Yeah. Look at the patience that Japanese people have for some boba. They're camping out for boba. Bro, the line is literally 30 minutes deep. So, 
basically they have a bunch of like goodies. A lot of old juicy pieces, nostalgic vibes, you know, hoodies, hoodies. A lot of skate gear, so to speak. Thrasher, if you're a skater. Posers. <laughs> Independent. Yeah, I don't know if I would wear any of these anymore. I used to wear a lot of Stussy back in the days, but nowadays... And here are all the teas. But this Green Day tea, which is nostalgic Beatles tea. Alice Cooper. Fire. Oh. Raise your fist. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Really like this graphic. Very thin. That's what I'd go for. Like, it's not all about the graphics or the band in itself, but it also has to be very soft, almost like a vintage feeling to it. So I'm very picky about that. Bunch of Beatles, T. Yeah. Metallica. If you're into Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, Jerry Lorenzo. <laughs> Maki, how about you? Do you buy a lot of vintage gear? Or I used to. You used Shimokita to? Sawa. Shimokita Sawa? Jimi Hendrix. You're all about that pink vibe. I'm gonna actually try this on. Stop flexing your muscle. Like your apps. Tie dye, I never really wear tie dye, but maybe in the summer, it's kind of a vibe, you know? Yeah, I look like a fucking hippie, bro. <laughs> Hello, Pinocchio. <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't like it. This is a uh, no go. No, no. To pinky. Right? Alright, so that was that. I'm gonna leave that back there. But they they have a lot of cool cargoes. Helmet wing, archive what is this? vibes. Like so big. It's massive. Prada. Oh, look at this. Prada. Oh, this is Prada. Yeah. Dude, honestly, if this was smaller, I would 100 percent cop. It's but like so I'm, fucking big, like, yeah, fucking like 38 or 40, like just a bunch of denim. Don't just like think that all these sizes will fit you. You really have to try it on because Especially with vintage denim, they they run, they just fit differently, it's weird. And then you got hoodies. New York Yankees. Like I said, they really like that college merch, you know what I mean? Who's gonna rep a school that you've never been to? It's weird. And then you have a bunch of... Needle wipes? Needles? Right, something like needles. Oh, kind of like needles. I bet needles like source all their vintage gear from here and just like start making them. I would wear what this. What is this? Stussy. Stussy. Um, yeah, I will totally wear this if this was smaller. It's very nice leather. Real leather, actually. Not synthetic. 160 bucks. Pretty so fair. Yeah, it's sick. Okay, it's like 100 like something. Yeah, it's 170 bucks. A bunch of uh, plaid denim, suede jackets, trench coats, and a bunch of trousers. Trousers, 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 trousers. That's kind of hard. And then you have uh, more denim, I say. And some of these are really expensive because of the year. Like this is two hundred and twenty dollars. You can't see the price. Then. It's like two hundred and twenty dollars. Oh yeah. Okay. Like so big. It's big. I think you can wear this. Maybe it's it's bigger for me though. Yeah. It's no. It's it will fit you. It won't fit me. We have a lot of anime tees. Shout out South Park. My favorite. It used to be my favorite show, but no. like I said, honestly, the thing with vintage tea is that you just touch a lot of them and your hands feel like, you know, it's got like. Yeah, let's go on to the next location. Next store is called What's Up. Just a little disclaimer these are all my favorite vintage stores, so there are a lot of vintage stores in Tokyo, but these are usually the spots that I would visit. So, they have new shit. Oh, really? Pikachu. Obviously, all these teas that are hung up are gonna be fucking expensive. Vintage retro toys. It's a very nostalgic feeling to the store that I really like about. They have amazing teas. 
I don't know exactly. Oh, wow. Straight up for that. It's five bills though, so no, nope, that's not gonna happen. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. That's a functified tea, I think. Nirvana, nine inch, Bob Dylan. I hate going through all these teas. Sid Vicious, I believe. Marilyn Manson, Hellraiser, Versace. What the fuck? Yo. The tits and the nipples? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pink Floyd, MC Escher, wow. Hard, Pulp Fiction. I've been really into like white vintage tees. I just really can't find the right size. We got a bunch of hoodies here. Vintage Nike hoodie. Nope, nope, nope. I really like tees that have like a small logo on the front and then something crazy on the back. It's just really hard to come by one. Look at this. <laughs> Which tip do you like, bro? Um, headlights and uh, du double bobbies. Really? And may maybe watermelons. Watermelons. No, dude. I'm all about the has-beens. <laughs> this is my favorite one, bro. Dude. Your mom's a MILF, man. A mom I'd like to F. Dude, totally. Totally, dude. Definitely spot on. She is, dude. She's pretty sick and she's hot. Dude, that's messed up. But, dude. What? But it's definitely like she's into it. Don't look at me like that, dude. She's definitely hot. You also have vintage Converse and... So what do you look for in a vintage team, Mikey? Yeah, tight collar. Uh, oh, like uh... <laughs> That's really cool. Junior, is it? CDG, maybe? What is this? Oh, this... Oh, it is Junior. Ah, shit, Bro. that's why. 2001. Yeah, and there's five bills. This is sick. Motorcycle club? <laughs> yeah. Just a dainty little graphic on the front, and then... Bigger graphic on the back is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna try this on. I'm definitely 100% buying this. Yeah, I'm buying. So this. comfy though. It's so comfy. It's like light, good length, good body. I used to be a really big fan of oversized tees, but nowadays I really like the fit and look. So I'm buying. Bro. Sixty bucks. Yeah, sixty bucks. I used to spend a lot, but nowadays I don't really care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I never would have expected to buy this much. Today. I was on saving mode. <laughs>